Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about Lorentz multiplier. So now I will show you how to answer. We can apply the formula in here. So we have f s y that is about this one and 3sy that is about s square plus y square minus number 9 in here so I will put number 9 go to here now we apply the formula in here this is about the radian so we have like this so for this one we have s so we have number one when we do first the derivative of f with respect to s and we have y square in here this one, we just have only s square and we have 2s. The next one, that is about y. This is about y square. First, the derivative of y square, we have 2y. And the next one, we have 2y. Now, I will, con I will consider about this one. Now, we divide both sides by number 2. So, I will put this one go to the left. So, we can do about factorization. So, in this situation, we have y equal to number 0 and s minus lambda equals to number 0. So s equals to lambda. So when y equals to number 0, we put this one cone here and we can find about s square equals to number 9. But if we put number 0 cone here, just only for y you still got about 0 because when s negative or positive you still got about number 0 in here because we have like this the next one s equals to lambda now we have the first equation in here and we put s equals to lambda go in here And we have 2 lambda square. Now we have s square plus y square. Equals to number 9. So s we have lambda we put in here. y square we have 2 lambda square. So this one we have 3 lambda square equals to number 9. Later that, we divide both sides by number 3. And we have number 3. Next, we put the square root for the both sides. So we have lambda equals to the square root of number 3. And lambda equals to negative with the square root of number 3. So if we put this one go back in here and here, we see that s equals to negative with the square root of number 3. But the question that just provide domains in here, so we just accept about this one. And we need to reject about this one. 
So in this situation, we have s equals to the square root of number 3, y square equals to, we put this one going here, and we have number 6. So in this situation, we just accept about y is greater than or equals to number 0. So we just have only one value in here. And now we can put into the function. And we have 6 with the square root of number 3. So after we find anything, this one that is about minimum. This one that is about maximum. This is the end. Thank you for watching.